This channel is dedicated to solving Sudoku without candidates. This is puzzle number 91, a diabolical puzzle from Sudoku to Go, volume 152. I'll show you how I broke through a hard spot using twins, triplets, quadruplets, and URs all at the same time. Before you watch, you can print the puzzle to follow along. Go to sudokuprimer.com and there's a menu item called Print YouTube Puzzles before you watch. Or you can go to the uh, description below and there's a link down there where you can click on that link and print the puzzle before you watch. All right, before we get, before we get started too far, we'll just uh, do some real easy numbers. And then there's a two here, two here, so that's a two. There's a five here, five here, so that's a five. All right, then we got ghost nines here, nine, 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 so that's a nine. And then we got a 9-9 nine, nine, and a 9 there, so that makes that a 9. All right, and then now we've got um, uh, two. One of these is a 2. One of these is a 2. Using double column elimination, we can see that this is a 2 right there because of these twos in these two rows and uh, uh, let's see now there's a couple of things I want to show you here that I found we got a five you've got a wall in box five here there's a five here and a six here so that means there are five six five and six here but we're not sure where yet, but keep that in mind. We're going to use that in a minute. And then um, um, notice we've got a 4, 5, and 6 in row 5. They're all outside of box 5 here. So we have 4, 5, six in box five. If we can find one more number here, we'll have a set of quadruplets. We can only see three right now, um, but I wanted to point that out. All right, now let's look at row seven here. We have, and I mentioned it in uh, at the beginning we're gonna find some twins some triplets quadruplets and a UR in order to find the next number and um, you, if you want to just kind of look at this puzzle for a minute you'll see that we're we're pretty much stuck right now so I'll I'll uh, show you how I found these. First of all, I found this set of triplets in row 7. Okay, we've got a 1, 4, and 8 here. We're missing six numbers here. 1, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. So we're missing 1, 4, and 8. So these are 5, 6, and 9 right there. And we've got a 1, 4, and an 8 here also. So that's a 5, 6, or 9. So we've got five six five six nine five six nine. So that means that we've got one four eight, one four eight, and one four eight there. So we have two sets of triplets here: five six nine triplets and one four eight triplets. This has a four and an eight in it already, so we know that's a one because of these triplets we found here. Okay, now keep that in mind. Now we have four eight twins right here. We have five six, five six nine, five six nine triplets right there. 
All right. Now, you remember the five and six I mentioned over here. We had a five here with this wall, so one of these is a five. A six here with this wall, so one of these is a six. And so one of these is a five, one of these is a six. But now we know these are four eight twins right there and right there. So that can't be a five or a six. So we have five six twins here. So we have uh, triplets right here, five, six, nine triplets, and four, eight twins there, and five, six twins right there. So we found a set of twins and a set of triplets, triplets already. Now let's look at it a little bit closer, see if we can find quadruplets and a UR. And when we do, I think we'll be able to find the next, uh, find a number. Uh, now, because these are five, six twins right here, we've got a one here and a one here, so one of these is a one. And since these are five, six twins, that can't be a one, so we know that's the one. And also, because of these five, six twins here, we, and we got a four right here, we know that can't be a four, so that's a four right there. All right, and that makes that an eight right there. Okay, so, so far we've um, doing pretty good. Now we got five, six here. That means these are seven, eight twins right here. Now let's look at this again. Remember I said we had four, five, and six. If we could find one more number here, we would have a, a set of quadruplets here. Okay, so we have seven, eight twins right there. We have four, five, six, seven, and then a, we can have a one right here and an eight right here. So let's go through each of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we still don't have, we have four, five, and six here, but we need one more number. Remember these seven, eight twins right here? Well, one of these has to be an eight. Got an eight there and an eight there. So one of these has to be an eight. And we have seven, eight twins there. Using URs, that means that neither of these can be a seven. So because of this UR that we just found, the unique rectangles, we know this is four, five, six, seven. So there's our quadruplet that we're looking for. So we found our twins, our triplets, our UR, and that, and that helped us find the quadruplets. So we have four, five, six, seven. Now we can't solve the quadruplets, but that leaves one eight twins here. And with this one, we know that's a one and that's an eight. Okay, so it took us a few different techniques in, in order to find this one and eight right here. All right, now these are five six twins here. So we know these three numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One, seven, and eight. So that means we know these two numbers. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can't solve the one, seven, and eight, but we can solve the three and the four because of that four. So that puts those there. All right, and now we also have a one here, one, one, that's a one right there. Okay, now let's go to, um, <clears throat> let's look at box nine here. We've got four here and a four there and a four there. So that makes that a four. And we've got a seven here and go sevens here. Remember these are seven, eight twins. And by the way, we could solve these. I'll solve them in just a minute. So we got seven ghost sevens and a seven there. So we know that's a seven right there. 
All right, let me put those seven, eight twins right here now. Seven and eight. Okay, and with that seven there, we've got four, five, six. With that seven, we got seven there. So we know these are six, seven twins. These are four, five twins. And you can also see that because they're the only two numbers in these two columns that are left. All right. And now with this seven, we can solve the only numbers missing in row five here are three and seven. With that seven, we can solve them. All right. And then we've got a three here, three here. Uh, one of these is a three, 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 three. With this three in this corner pattern right here, we can see this three is constrained to one of these two cells. So we've got ghost threes there, so that can't be a three, so that's a three. All right, now let's go to uh, box six here. We've got um, Let's see, two, six, and seven we're missing. There's two or six. Six or seven. Oh, there's a seven. So there's two, six, seven. So that's a six. That's a two, and that's a seven. All right. And uh, we know now this is a three right here because only number left there. Now we've got a six here. And uh, well, let's let's look at let's look at column eight here. One, let's see what we're missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Here's a five and a nine, so that's a six right there. With these sixes, it makes that a six. All right. And then uh, we're only missing five and six in box eight. With that six, we can fill those in. Those are those five, six twins that we found earlier. All right, now we've got five and nine missing there, so we can fill those in because of that five right there. All right, and row seven, we're only missing six and nine. With that nine, we can solve those. And box seven is missing a three and a five now. With that five, we can solve them. That's not a very clear three. Let me make that a little clearer. Okay. All right, we're missing four and five in box four. With that five, we can fill those in. All right, and we're missing three and four here. We can solve those because of that four. All right, now remember our four, five, six, seven there. There's a seven, six, seven, and there's a five, four, five. All right, now we're missing one, two, three, one, two, three there, three, three, so that's a three, there's a two there, so that's a one, that's a two. All right, and then uh, let's see, seven, 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 seven there. Well, let's see, one, two, let's see what we're missing here. Six, seven, and eight there. Uh, Six, six, okay, six there. That makes that an eight and that a seven. All right, now here we're missing one, two, and five right there. The two and a five, so one, five, two. All right, now we're missing one, seven, and eight here. There's one and eight there, so that's a seven. Uh, one there, so that's an eight, and that's a one. 
and we got it. So I guess the takeaway from this one is when we have tough puzzles like this and we just can't find another number, we have to get creative to find numbers to keep going. In this case, we had to first of all find these triplets here, which helped us find these twins right here, the five, six twins. And then that helped us find a couple of numbers, the one and the four there and the one there. And then we resorted to URs to find the quadruplets here and then solve the one and eight in the middle to get going again. Well, I hope you like this puzzle. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.